Amen. It's the ISO guy, Sensei, the greatest on 2K in existence. Now look, man, we done got our first <laughs> leaker for NBA 2K24. Bruh saying it's one park this year. <laughs> Dude saying he been in the park. He's saying adrenaline bars go down even slower. He's saying seasons are like a side quest. He's saying seven sevens are in 2K24. Green's not delayed anymore. Park cards is back. Rhett got the rooftop off. You could customize the hair the way you like it. Driving not OP. They saying agent and I'm Davis then play 2K24, 2K ratings. And we got more devs talking about NBA 2K24, man. But before we get into all that, y'all make sure y'all subscribe if you are new. Help me hit 275K.6. We are like 70 subscribers away. And make sure you hit that goddamn like button. It helps young swan grow. Now look, Jabridge then tweeted this out. Anyone recognize these NBA 2K players that tested NBA 2K24 early? And a lot of people commented. Now look, y'all are so in deep. This is like actually hilarious. Y'all are like zooming in and figuring out who these people are. This, who do y'all think this look like? Okay, there's a guy named Fanta or Agent. It could have been one of them. Then they saying they seen I'm Dave. I guess this is supposed to be I'm Davis. <laughs> Yo, I'm not even this. And this is definitely Mo Buckets. You can easily see this is Mo Buckets. He praises 2K like no other. Okay, he defends it like no other, man. So of course, <laughs> he gonna get wide to die, my boy. Like when I was reviewing the clips, bro, I, I did not like look this deep. I wanna know who really noticed this first, bro. Like I need you, bro. Like I know you gotta be in deep on the game, dog. Then they're saying this guy's Key Sticks, who was like the first legend. I, I don't know, man. So look, let's get into it, man. It's, it's, it's time to ruin all of y'all's uh, hype about this, man. Mike Wang tweeted last night, Still hard at work on 2K24, but we'll talk soon. One small tidbit for now. Fufu boy. He has an image of himself doing the quick drop animation, kicking his foot and going crazy. He's basically saying that it's done. They did this in uh, 2K19 when they took away certain dribble moves like going backwards. Now look, a lot of y'all might be happy and all that, but look, quick drops is not the problem, bro. I'm telling you right now, quick drops is not the problem. I'm gonna explain to you why. Quick drops have been in the game since 2K15. They were never as OP as they are now because the game had way more defense, way more body ups. You couldn't just fly over people. It had way stronger contests, way stronger contests in the paint. It had way better defense. It took way more skill to, you know, you couldn't paint mash as much. In 2K18, they started making the game very casual, but y'all think they're trying to make it more realistic, even though 18 was one of the most broken, unrealistic 2Ks ever. But y'all say that's the most realistic 2 2K ever which makes no sense but in 18 something changed in the whole game the engine i don't know bro they broke paint defense paint mashing then began in 2k 18 it was the birth of the athletic finishers etc and all that it was the birth of say you drive and you pass it out if someone jumps it can deflect the pass and it's just horrible body collisions all type of stuff and it's just ruined the whole game consistently throughout the years just like all gaming is going they are making it more casual friendly not realistic casual and user friendly they think that's what the world wants even though it's it's like a female man you don't give her what she want my boy she thinks she want that but she's gonna get bored of that and leave your goof ass it's just like a kid a kid thinks he wants to eat candy all day until he's sick and he doesn't feel good and he don't have energy like that, right? The casual bot NPC don't know what's good for him. He don't even understand the game. He think he want an easy to pick up game, but he really doesn't. Even if the quick drops is gone, it doesn't matter. Straight Arm Tomahawks is an amazing dunk package. Scottie Pippen, LeBron James, MJ, Russell Westbrook, etc. Those are like the, the killers. Those are the big dogs. You're flying. 
<laughs> you feel me? Like, you, you're going crazy. Now, in 2K23, they literally did something to break paint defense even more than any other 2K. They made it to where chase downs don't work, so now you could cock back and yam that hoe. Westbrook, any dunk that cocked back was horrible. If you was a good player, you would never put them on. I've been telling y'all the best dunks since 2K15 and everybody copied my wave because I'm the one that found that knowledge for y'all, that graced y'all with the quickie drops and all them hoes, right? But they weren't as OP back then and used to get other animations with quick drop, right? You didn't always get this animation right here. This animation, it wasn't even, it didn't even really look like this to my knowledge from what I can remember, bro. It started to evolve into this. But um, as I was saying, bro, it's not even limitless takeoff. What y'all don't understand, just because something becomes a badge doesn't mean that it wasn't like in the game before then, bro. You could fly and do crazy dunks since before part 2Ks from hella far. The difference is now you cannot cut someone off even if you cut them off. Do you understand the body collisions, bro? Okay? They they they're making the game so casual based that it's just it's broken, bro. You feel me? And even if they do switch all this stuff around, really think about it. You think they're not going to have a 2K where paint mashing exists? That doesn't even make sense especially with them going this casual route. So even if they do remove this, it's still gonna be a problem. Even if they do remove Limitless Takeoff, there's, it's it's still going to be there. Slashing is always going to be broken now, guys. Seriously, unless y'all like fight back. But yeah, there's another thing called like standing dunk cheese. Even if they really do eliminate and buff the paint defense, standing dunk cheese is still a thing, right? That's been a cheese since old 2Ks. But now it's much more OP because the paint D is so weak, dog. So it's like, you know, the only way is to really buff defense, to buff clamps and stuff like that. It's the only way, bro. But shout out to them for, uh, you know, th this is brilliant tweet, man. They coming out with something that almost everyone agrees on, you know? Here's some screenshots of NBA 2K24. Now look, the lighting look a little cool, man. I don't know if they're going to have a new lighting to the game or if this is just like a effect with the screenshot. Someone pointed out to me that this isn't even real like straight gameplay. He, he was saying that they actually edit the photos now or they're probably now doing it or whatever. So it's like even the stuff you're seeing, it's like edited. So it's like, it's not actually just a straight screenshot. I don't know if that's true or not. Y'all let me know. They got the Josh Giddy guy, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this, man. I'm not really a graphics head. I'm more of a gameplay head. Jumpman Germ done posted some comparisons. You see? It's a light and difference. You know what's crazy? They're posting comparisons and they're showing that like 2K21 uh, new gen look better than 24 and 23, which is crazy, right? These are the new differences, whatever. Y'all know 14 had the best lighting, man. People trying to be funny and stuff. Even LD2K, and from my homies, y'all know what I mean, your homie gone, and one from my homies, saying the quick drops is gone. You see like this Curry one. The 21 one does look, like look, this Curry one. Like the 21 one does look better. What do y'all think? It do look better. It's so weird. <laughs> How y'all feel about that? The mouthpiece look better? I don't really care about this, man. I, li I like like the environment type of graphics. Like it, it makes it feel like more that that matters to me more than like player detail type stuff, you know? Now Jaws over here hyping this dude up, right? I ain't got no problem with you, but we gotta call you out, my boy. Now he's saying rookie the legend is back. He tagging another YouTuber. He's saying seasons are like side quests. Says he has the game and he's an inside person. He says he's been in the park and all that. Look, guys, I know a lot of y'all don't know this type of stuff, but no one's getting the game this early, first off. And even if they do, you can't get on the servers unless you're a dev. It's just impossible, bro. So it's fake. It's not like that other year when someone was like leaking stuff and all that. 
Look, he's saying it's one part. He's saying all the uh, affiliations is gone. You feel me? He said, remember that uh, build you made? This is homie. Dribbling feel a lot different, but the adrenaline is gone. Look, this is, this is all fake, bro. Y'all keep sending me this. He's saying seven sevens are in 2K24. Green's not delayed anymore. Park cards is back. Rhett got the rooftop off. You could customize the hair the way you like it. Driving not OP. Now, Not Elite uh, tweeted out everyone getting excited till they realize the rust dunk just as insane. Uncle Demi says, who said that hasn't been adjusted either? Leak, 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 leak. Now look, Stax tweeted out. <clears throat> Y'all know he got stuff to do with 2K, he work for 2K now or whatever. Oh wait, wait, what, what does it say? Community content manager. Oh, so he trying to whip y'all content creators into shape. Hmm, I see. He says if y'all vocabulary expanded past trash, we would have invited some of y'all to 2K24 feedback too. Nah, I'm lying. Some of y'all ain't ever coming. LOL, that's real though. And then you got all the uh double twist gawkers agreeing with this. Now look, this tweet is very impactful to you, the consumer, and y'all don't realize this because you're so worried about somebody wanting to dribble a certain amount, someone wanting this, you're infighting about stuff that don't really matter like that, bro. Because a tweet like this is the reason why VC prices will increase every single year because the voice between creators will never get big enough y'all randoms you have no voice right unless y'all just stop buying the game but that take people coming together it ain't gonna work bro the only way is for content creators voice to get so big to roast them so large to really turn into karens and to really make a big impact with videos tweets other news outlets etc bro but it will never happen because they are incentivized to keep quiet to shut up to not speak you ain't gonna get flown out you ain't gonna get wind and dime oh you want to come out and test the game you want to work with 2k boy watch your mouth <laughs> that's how it worked so someone that's looking out for themselves and don't really care about the community etc which is most people like you know, I'm sure y'all would do it too, but some people are different like me. You know, this is not coming towards someone like me. There's no way. He has to be talking about badge plug. Badge plug, you got to fight back, my boy. Uh, Double H, you got to fight back, my boy. Uncle Demi Stacks, y'all just letting them keep uh, shooting shots at you. They ain't talking about me. I've been flaming. <laughs> Every developer since the beginning of me on YouTube in depth, like talking about families, talking about their existence as a human being, I go in depth. I know you ain't talking about me, <laughs> bro. I'm on a whole different mission. Y'all talking about the guys that's been nice and stuff, and then they might slip and say, Y'all talking about them dudes, right? But it's like. Like, for instance, with Badge Plug, I don't really watch his content, but, like, from what I've seen over these years, bro, until, like, maybe this year, like, bro, he's been so mild-mannered, so Philip DeFranco, so in the middle. It's like, damn, y'all took that dude's logo, you took his 2K logo, and it's like, damn, that dude Badge, like, what did he really say? I don't know, y'all have to tell me, like how the like how is he not like affiliated with 2k he been like you know sometimes he be even be caping for the game you know it's like i mean damn like they really they really got creators in check boy but yeah man this is deeper than what y'all think like i don't know man and you'll you'll know the only way out of this it is for y'all the viewers to make waves happen to make creators to, to make creators have some more morals. You know, you hold them accountable, they're gonna adjust. Content creators are literally what y'all want. That's what y'all don't realize. Everyone's not like me, bro. When I be talking about the game and stuff, I be roasting 95% of the people that's watching the video. I'm crazy, but I know what I'm doing. You know, I have a deeper purpose, man. I've already chosen my path. Most creators, they're gonna coddle everyone, right? I don't do that but yeah man so like y'all could literally create 
people to not behave this way. It's really y'all's fault, to be honest. Why creators are the way that they are. Uncle Demi tweets out, interesting, isn't it? How one can persistently bash a company. Badge, he talk about you. Double H, he talk about you. All y'all DF cats. And because y'all still want to associate with him. He talking about y'all. <laughs> Yet express dismay. Oh, you bring it out the book. You bring it out the master degree, my boy. <laughs> Uh, get out, get out of them. Get out of Debbie. Get out of Debbie. Because you know they ain't going to fight back. Because they want it bad. <laughs> but then he say, <laughs> Bro, this is so funny. <laughs> yeah, express dismay when the same company doesn't mess with you. Could it be more logical to understand before criticizing? It's baffling to brand those who seize opportunities as yes men slash woman. Perhaps these individuals simply understand that nuisances of corporate navigation it's about time we mature and learn how the business world operates and for the record i am far from being a yes man mm. now look first off 90 percent of the people in y'all's uh little circle who y'all add to the next makers or logos in general they roast and bash the game y'all just don't see it y'all don't do your research um if i really wanted to be a crazy I could literally put montages of each roasting and bashing the game. Every single that went and gameplay tested your game, I could put hours long footage of them just flaming the game, bro, in a very unconstructive manner. So it's like, y'all just don't see it, to be honest. So, eh, it is what it is. Some of y'all, y'all see it. Some of the times y'all don't. And damn. Yod man responded, no community day for me this year, but I'll still be on that grind this year. Like the huge damn. Y'all know Yod man, he he went and uh flew out and uh he went to the community day, but I guess they ain't gonna invite him back. I, I didn't really see him roasting the game and stuff, uh to be honest, especially before the year. I was trying to tell him, bro, this adrenaline, it's ass. If and if y'all let something like that in the game, it's a slippery slope. And it's just going to keep making the game worse. I, I don't know. Maybe Yad was uh, saying in his videos or something that he really didn't like it. I don't know. He don't even really be on Twitter. So I don't know how he's not getting an invite. Man. This is like the 2K Illuminati, bro, to be honest. Uh, Stax, Demi, uh, who else? I don't know who else. Y'all are a part of the 2K Illuminati. Yeah, that's what we going to start calling you. <laughs> Hey man, y'all click on this uh, Jimmy Butler video when I use this uh, crazy build. It's hilarious, man. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.